What's up everyone, this is Awesome Mom's Gaming. So, this is bad placement. For the elixir problem, placement is key. If you place it in one tile left, like the picture right now, then chances are they're gonna get rocketed, lightning, poisoned, any of that. But, so, I know OJ made a video on this, but elixir, it does come out every 6 seconds. In double elixir, it comes out every 3 seconds. And then, I think it comes out in 2.8 seconds in overtime. So there's actually a sudden death challenge going on in Clash Royale, like, on Friday. I think I'm going to post it on Friday. So, in that challenge, you'll be able to get 1,000, oh yeah, these may change. 1,500 gold at 2 wins, 3,000 gold at 5 wins, 7,500 gold at 8 wins, 15,000 gold at 10 wins, and 30,000 at 12. Guaranteed prize from the chest, 700. 700 gold, 10 cards, and contains at least 1 rare. Top prize contains at least 5 epics, 55 rares, 11,000 gold, and 550 cards. So, you're going to get a lot of gold from this. So, if you guys are waiting for your legendary to buy it from the shop, then after this, you'll probably have enough. But yeah, for the elixir, make sure that you, like, when it starts over time, it gives you one, it gives you plus one elixir, and it doubles, like, it completely doubles the production time of one elixir. So, if you guys do want to, like, if you guys are at 8 elixir, when it, when, like, double elixir time drops, then you're gonna have 10, like, almost 10. Cause, yeah. And then, sometimes, as OG pointed out, with gameplay, so you can actually, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna put his link in the description. But yeah, uh he did uh, he, on his video he actually showed getting four elixir when you're at two elixir. So you so this will actually stop your opponent from knowing. So you just have to wait. This this requires precise timing, so if you guys don't know how to do that, you better like try on training matches and stuff. But if you actually do it in a real battle and you know how to do it, it's pretty easy to pull off. And they're not gonna say you're hacking. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. This is what you don't want to do. You don't want to lure, like, Dark Princes, Princes. You don't want to lure them to your elixir pump. So you always place it in, like, in front of your King Tower or in the corner. In front of your King Tower is the best in 2v2. Because then they won't be able to rock it, like, both your Arena Tower and your King Tower. They will be able to hit your King, I mean, Arena Tower and the pump. But if, but if they hit the King Tower, then it's activated. So these tips are pretty good when you still have three towers up. I know some of you guys like to spam elixir pumps. I like to do that sometimes too. But it does make them very rocketable. So if they rocket it, then yeah. I know Orange just made this video. So you guys go ahead and watch it too. I'll just put OG's link in the description. Very advanced, but yes, you can count your opponent's looks. This is a really old picture of a deck that I used to use when the Night Witch first came out. It is pretty good as a beatdown style deck. Like, you could play it in 2v2 or in ladder. And then, even though it's very heavy with the elixir pump, you just have to place it correctly, and then you'll be able to outpace your opponent with elixir, even with that high elixir cost. Stay tuned for more quality gaming.